Hey friends, what's up? This is Adil, and in today's we in today's video we are going to talk about two methods to prepare or to make auto updating drop down list. What we will do at start, we will discuss what is difference between normal drop down list and auto updating drop down list, or we will discuss why auto updating drop down list is better than normal drop down list. Then we will discuss two methods to prepare or to make auto updating drop down list, and then later on we will or uh, we will talk about which method or which of these two methods is better or which of these me two methods we should use or which method is uh, or which method is useful in every situation so uh, okay friends i think without wasting more time we should start now so here i have data that we will use to prepare or to make our auto updating drop down list and uh, i have uh, already here i have, uh, have made here uh, i have already uh, made here two drop down list one is normal drop down list and second one is auto updating drop down list to show you what is difference between these two lists if i can check here here is name of all these uh, animals that i have here because uh, i have been used this data to make these two uh, drop down list and if i check here here is name here is name of all these elements uh, sorry all these animals from line to sheep if you can check here and if i can check here here i also have same data name of animals from line to sheep so if i have same data in these two lists so then where is difference between two to these two lists and now if i write here name of one more animal maybe i write here dog and i can again check here in normal drop down list i cannot find name of this new animal here but if i go here in auto updating drop down list i check here i can find name of this new animal dog here in auto updating drop down list means this uh, drop down list is up, uh, updating automatically so friends i think now uh, now we discuss now we discuss two methods which uh, by uh, by which by which methods we can make this auto updating drop down list so i will remove this list because now we don't need this list and i will also remove this list so that we can prepare this list from start so so uh, friends okay first method that we will use uh, this first method is a little bit complicated but second method is very simple and very useful but uh, we need to as we need to discuss uh, these two methods so uh, <coughs> in first method we need to we will use a, a function that is offset function and to show you offset function or how offset function works let me insert here some data so that you can check how it works so i have been uh, just a minute i have been written here i have been inserted here some data and now what i will do i will write here offset function offset in offset function you can see there are three elements one is reference second one is rows or number of rows third one is columns now i uh, select here maybe i select this uh, cell as my reference and i select maybe number of rows maybe four then maybe uh, two number of cells so why i have been written this or or what offset function does offset function does for example i have been used here a reference my reference cell as c2 and four i have been re uh, i have been uh, inserted four in place of rows this means this uh, selection will come down four rows one two three four it will come down four rows then i have been used or i have been written two in place of number of columns or columns then uh, this means when it will uh, this selection will come down four times or four rows then it will come two times or it will come uh, to it will come two times to right side and this will show us what is in this cell so i will press enter and this will show us 17 so again this here is our reference is c2 but i have been written here four in place of number of rows means this will come down four rows then i have been written here two in place of columns this means this will come two times to the right side or it will come two columns to the right side and where it will come at that time it will show us a result of uh, data in that cell means offset function shows us uh, value in a cell after coming uh, after going down uh, number of rows times and going to right side number of column times from its reference cell 
so friends uh, i think now you understand how offset function works so we will use this offset function in our first method so i will just select number uh, cells in which i want to insert drop down list and uh, i will go to here data and in after that in data validation in data validation i will select here list and in list i will use here offset function as we have been used here so i have been written here offset function then i will use this first value or first cell of our uh, list of data that we are going to use as our drop down list and then i will press uh, i will uh, use here comma then zero then comma then zero means we don't want to come down uh, and we don't want to come uh, to right side means we have been used zero as number of rows and zero as number of columns and then i will use here count of function count of function what does count of functions count of function just counts number of non zero uh, cells in our selection so i have been what i will select here i will select here column c so what count of function do count of count of function just counts number of non zero cells in our selection so i will close this parenthesis then i will write here minus 1 why i have been write here written here minus 1 because we don't want to include our heading in our drop down list because heading is also included in column c and i have been uh, i have been used here complete column c so i also be i also write here minus 1 because i want to remove heading from my selection so i will close this parenthesis and i will press okay and now if i can check see here we have our drop down list okay let's check now if it works or no i will write here uh, name of new animal maybe i write here cat and now i come here and i check here i have here name of new animal again if i write here elephant name of new animal i can check here and i can find name of these two new animals okay friends this was the first method now let's see what is second method to prepare or to uh, to make uh, auto updating drop down list and uh, i will remove these two animals uh, okay so okay so now what i will do for our second method this is very simple very easy so i will just select my uh, data and i will press control plus t because i want to convert my data into table and i will press okay and here is one more important thing here is my table has headers if you have heading in your selection you need to check this box because i also have a heading in my selection in my selection or data so i have been i will keep it as it is so if i don't have heading in my uh, selected data i will just uncheck this box because now i have uh, my heading so i will just check this box and press okay and see now my data has been converted into table now uh, uh, very simple i will just select uh, cells in which i want to insert drop down list i will just go to data then data validation in data validation i will just select list in uh, source i will just select data that i want to be my drop down list and i will just press okay and if i can check here see i have here all name of all these uh, animals as my drop down list but we, as we need auto updating drop down list so let's check that if it works as auto updating drop down list or no so i will write here name of one more animal maybe that is a uh, elephant uh, okay and uh, i check here elephant and i can find head elephant see means this drop down list is also working as auto updating drop down list and i can write here name of one more animals now i don't remember maybe cat maybe one more animal i don't remember name of one more animal okay i can write here aunt i know this is uh, insect but now i don't uh, remember name of any uh, any animal so okay let's check if i can find her see aunt oh sorry aunt cat elephant three new uh, animals or three new names that i have been written here and i can if i can check here aunt cat element so this method is uh, this method is by offset function and this method is by table from uh, table by using table so which method is better or which method we should use so friends this was first method that we have been used offset function this uh, this method is also good to use auto to make auto updating drop down list but the problem is this is only useful for data for where you have only a small amount of data 
because when whenever you make any change in your uh, workbook this offset function will recalculate its whole data or it will make uh, its calculations again so whenever you have huge amount of data this offset function as it recalculates its uh, cal as its cal um, calculates its calculations again and again with every change in your workbook so it will slow down your work or it will slow down your workbook but in uh, in second method as uh, we have been used table method we have been used table to uh, make our our uh, top rating drop down list this method is very fantastic and very useful it will work same as it is working now in every situation so you need to use this method or second method to uh, prepare or to make this auto updating uh, auto updating drop down list so friends the, the uh, these were these were two methods to prepare or to make auto updating drop down list if you don't understand anything please mention in your com in uh, comment below this video and if you like this video please don't forget to share this video with your friends and also please like this video and also please don't forget to subscribe our channel okay friends bye bye